Hello everyone, let me walk you on the demo how to add products into Odoo website. So first of all, we will go into the website module. Here you will find your home page. We will go into the shop and you can see there is one new button. Click on that new button and you will find many options. You can select the page one if you want to create a new page. Otherwise, click on product. Here. As we clicked on product, you can see a wizard will open to create a new product. So we will add our product name as shirt. And after that, you can add the barcode if you want. And here we are going to select an image for our new product. Here you can see I have added a image for shirt. Now, after this, I'm going to add the sales price for this product and I will be adding $100 for this sales price for this product and here you can see the sales taxes you can add or remove it as per your choice and here you can see include tax what is the final price of this product here you can select the website category if you want here you can see the many categories you to add into your new product now we are going to click on save and you can see a shirt product is created into your website here you can see the shirt and here you can see the sales price and you can see the terms and condition in here you can add it the name of the product here i am going to add white shirt so you can see the name for this product is updated and under that you can add the description for the shirt here I'm going to add a description for this product. Here you can see made from 100% pure cotton for all day comfort, soft, breathable and perfect for any occasion. You can add the description according to your product. Now in here we are going to click on the product image and from here you can see the extra images. Now we are going to click on add and from here you can search an image and if you want to upload it just click on upload an image and from here you can upload the images for this product so in here i have i have added two different images into the product here you can see the images now click on add button and in here you're going to refresh your page and you can see that two images are added into our product here you can see the images you can go back and forth with the help of these arrows and you can see the image of the products and here you can see the terms and condition here you can see a share button now if i click on go and click on the description here you will find customer rating or customer share option so you can select any one of those as you like so i will be adding rating so as i have added rated in the description you can see the viewer can you viewer can rate this product as per the services and you can just click on save and you can see the product is created with all the update you have done in here you can see the description terms and condition rating and everything and you can see that this product is published as we created it from the website so we are going into the site we will be hop onto the site here we are going into the site and we are going into the products and from the back end we are going to create a product so if we go into the kanban view here you can see our new product white shirt here you can see the product white shirt and you can see that it is published now we are going to create a new product in the back end and you can see you need to add a product name i will be adding my product name as t-shirt so here i have added my product name as t-shirt and after this you can add the barcode if you want now i'm going to upload my image for the t-shirt and here you can see i have uploaded an image in here now you can add the barcode as i said if you want you can update the sales price to 50 dollars and you can add the sales tax if you want otherwise just remove it as per your choice here you can see the final price after the taxes and you can add the website category if you want now just click on save and here you can see that a product is 
created into your website you can see but it is not published yet because it is created from the backend so you can just enable the toggle button otherwise we are going into the products and here we will find our product t-shirt and here you can see the product t-shirt and now under in the sales tab we will find a boolean for is published as soon as we are going to enable that boolean you can see that the product will be published into the website here we will find a go to website button just click on that and here you can see that our t-shirt product is published into the website here you can see the product now we are going to click on the edit button here you can see the edit button we are going to click on that and you can edit your product information now here you can add the any block as you want so here i will be adding a block into the product to create a product website so in here i am going to select this share block and i'm going to just drag and drop into my website page and here you can see the customer review you can just write a, yeah, a customer can write a review from here and you can just see it into your o2 now here i'm going to select the contact and frame here i have selected this frame and you can see that you can edit this frame so here i'm going to change the email and here you can see the timings and everything you can edit everything and just click on save here you can see that for the product t-shirt you can see every other detail we have added into the page in here now not only into this if i go into the shop and if i search for the product shirt here i am going to the different tab here you can find the shirt under that also you will find the template for customer rating and let's get in touch which we added into our t-shirt here you can see the customer review and everything in here if you have any queries about this video you can ask them in the comment box and we will solve your queries if you feel this video is useful to you please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel for more odoo related videos thanks for watching